All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today, I'm going to be talking about what Dame Dash said about Jay-Z and Drake. And um, he's saying that Drake made an offer to buy what he was selling. That's the, uh, I think it's the... Uh, uh, three percent or 13 or half or something percent percentage of of uh rock rockefeller records or whatever so yeah we're gonna get into that before i get into that you know i gotta get my spill this is torture talk if you like the content please consider subscribing if you're new here and you're on the fence let me work for your subscription today all the single beautiful sexy ladies put one in the chat all the fellas y'all know where to find the ones at i don't sell no merch but i do have content that's absolutely free so if you want to leave a donation you can if you don't it's fine too thank y'all for everybody that's been donating and everybody that's been supporting the channel they called me the hidden gem i went from 1300 subscribers to over 10,000. and let me know where you from thank y'all appreciate everything y'all have done for me man let me get y'all the horn real quick you know what i'm saying y'all been good to me man thank y'all thank y'all for rocking with me 8 a.m 12 a.m and 6 p.m or 12 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. Thank y'all for rocking with me, man. I, I put in a lot of work over here. I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos. Some of them are long. I got a video coming out. It's an hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be coming up soon. It's going to be, uh, I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, but basically it's about academics and mall and the, um, the, the delusional uh, friendship that they believe they have with Drake. You know what I mean? The sad friendship that they believe they have. Maybe that'd be the name. No, that looks good. Let me get to this, man, because I know y'all, tired of waiting so let's go this is the 8 a.m show all right man let's go man good morning to y'all good morning <laughs> all right so let's get it whatever you say she is gonna be on youtube with it man who would end up being the brand new owner of one third of rockefeller inc which owns reasonable doubt for at least seven more years. Dame Dash just said Drake just made a serious offer. Could that help him in the rap war of 2024? What's up, y'all? Is your man talking with World Report for the Chick Smooth channel? We gotta talk about this. While being interviewed on his network and his YouTube channel, Dame Dash will talk about how a rap battle has never gone this far that it led to the winner headlining the Super Bowl. But many could argue. But wait a minute. Nah, bro. That. <laughs> I don't think Kendrick Lamar got this off of the rap battle. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people going to say, well, that's kind of contradictory, but I think that Kendrick Lamar, he didn't, he wasn't battling Drake when he did it, when he did it the other time when he, when he was featured, I just think that he had a great year. And I don't think it was because of, I don't think it's solely because of the battle. I think it's because the momentum that he had, it's not just because of the battle. I don't know, man. Dame Dash. I don't know. Sometimes, man, I, I don't know, man. But let's see what he says. That Kendrick Lamar would have done the Super Bowl even if the rap war of 2024 was delayed. He probably wouldn't have performed this year, but now it just seems like the best time. Here's what Dame Dash had to say. As for battle rap, yeah, there's never been a, a, a battle rap where, you know, the record becomes a hit, puts another artist in a very uncomfortable position, pause, and then they get to perform it at the Super Bowl. That's it. And, you know, I'm thinking like, what would I do if I was Drake? And I'd be like, well, a big W would be to come to the Super Bowl with one of these Rockefeller chains. Yeah. And here, bro, he's really trying to get Drake to buy this shit because he's trying to get Drake to have leverage. That's it. This guy is such a fraud, bro. This is why I said, man, before I didn't want to cover this dude because he's such a fraud. It's like, you was just asking Kendrick to buy the shit, bro. You literally just asking Kendrick. Now you're down, you're, you seen that Jay-Z came, it came out that Jay-Z uh, actually was the one that selected Kendrick. And now you want to flip it and say, well, maybe Drake should buy it. And it'd be a good thing to go to the Super Bowl with the Rockefeller chain to try to stay upstage Jay-Z. Like, get the, f man, get up out of here with that goofy, man. Get up out of here with that, bro. Just tell, just, just say, Drake, yo, you want to buy this, John? But you're trying to incentivize him by buying it, by, by, by saying, well, it'll be a good thing if you was to buy it because 
Look what Jay did to you. He put your your adversary on there. Maybe if you come there with the Rockefeller chain and show that you own half of his company or a portion of his company, like get man, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You know, Drake hollered at me through DM and made an offer. And uh I'm not quite sure what happened, but um I thought that he had got with Jay or something, but I don't know. But it would be a good time to close. But if you got it. You know, I wouldn't do it if you don't got it. But, uh, you know, if you want to own reasonable doubt, if you want to own a third of it, have a, a say at the board meeting for at least the next seven years and make money off of it, um, I would get these chains. A one, you get one. And I'm going to make it even better. I, I spoke to Alligator Jesus, and I was like, yo, if somebody does buy it for this price, um, now I got to give some Rockefeller grills. So I'll, I guess I'll put up some Rockefeller grills. And Man, yo, yo bro. Th listen, bro. This is, this is the definition of never growing up, bro. This is the reason why I appreciate that song Kendrick did. You know, watch the party die. Because it's guys like Dame Dash. It's guys like him. You know what I'm saying? We're... This guy right here, man, he literally is telling people that if you buy this, I'll give you a, a pair of grills and a chain. Instead of saying, I'll show you how to get real estate, or I'll show you how to own land. His proposition to people and in incentivizing people to buy it is giving them a grill. This is what I mean, yo. This is why hip hop is, is at its point right now and it's at. Because of people like this, they keep it in this continuous stupid ass loop. We got to grow up, man. We got to start doing better music. We got to start doing better, making better decisions. Your whole incentive, incentivizing somebody is by giving them a chain and grills. Nothing else. This is crazy. As well, if he put up the bread. When talking about what's actually for sale on his Instagram, he wrote, they can say what they want. This is still for sale. You're not buying a copyright. You're buying a piece of a company, Rockefeller Inc. Do you think Drake takes Dame Dash's advice of buying his third of Rockefeller Inc. and then showing up to the Super Bowl with the chain on? Would that matter? Would that be better or worse? He should probably stay away from the Super Bowl, no matter what gets performed. At least for this year, Dame Dash will go on to say that purchasing Rockefeller Inc. is not just about the profit because he says it only makes him about $100,000 a year. If that's true, then $10 million would never get recouped. So it's not about the profit, it's about the art. And rich people buy dumb art all the time. This is not just buying the music, this is still buying the company. Even when the seven years are up and the copyrights of the album go back to Jay-Z, Drake will still own a third of Rockefeller Inc. if he buys it. It's not about a profit thing, it's about art. You know, studies doesn't make but 100,000 a year for me. But the symbolism, I guess, and what you can do and how to monetize it for those seven years, you know, you can make a lot of money. And again, man, this is what I mean. So why isn't you doing that? Why, 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 where's the symbolism at for you? Why you ain't making money off of it? Obviously, if he buys this, it's not, he's not going to be able to recoup any of that money back because it's not going to come back to him. That's number one. Number two, like, I don't know, man. Sometimes I think, sometimes I think, man, I hate to say this. Sometimes I really feel like us as black people, man, we just, we just, we just went down the wrong path with certain, with certain, uh, following certain people. You know what I'm saying? And this guy here is one of those people, man. We are always, we always thought that he was such a great businessman. He was always this guy and he was always that guy that had the companies in it. And look what he at now, man. Look what he's doing. He's a rich, broke nigga. You know say That's exactly what he is. A rich, broke nigga. Don't got nothing to show for it. You know what I'm saying? He lost everything. 
because he lies and he does this and he does that. He don't got nobody to blame but himself. But this is what I'm saying, man. We following the wrong people. We should be following somebody that's going to help us get to get somewhere else that's going to keep us where we, we need to be. This guy here, you follow him to in, right, into the, right into the pits of hell or whatever you want to call it. It's crazy, man. For those seven years, and after that, you still own Rockefeller Inc. It's just reasonable doubt's not bad. But for those seven years, you could run it up, have a lot of fun. If, if you really want to buy it, if you don't have 10 million or... Don't call me. You know, unless there's something creative you want to do, but other than that, you stop. You know what I mean? You just waste people's time. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Peace. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That guy been selling us, selling us a false dream for years, man. And now he's in the bind. He's wanting somebody to uh, spend ten million dollars on something, like as if that's just something you could pull. Out of, out of the, the uh, bottom of your mattress or something. People ain't got money like that. You know what I'm saying? Even these celebrities don't have money like that. And obviously, it ain't a big deal to them because if it was, they would have been purchases. Somebody would have brought it if it was a big deal. These people don't care about that. They don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't hold any weight to them because once they figure out that they're not going to make no money off of it, why would they give you $10 million or something? You just said yourself that you're only going to make $100,000 $100, a year off of it. So they so in seven years, a hundred thousand, that's seven hundred thousand. They so it's like they just gave you nine million three three uh nine million and, and three hundred thousand dollars for nothing. Because if it's seven years, it's seven hundred thousand. So they get they they just gave you nine million and three hundred thousand for nothing. It's like this is the type of businessman this dude is. I'm not saying that Dame Dash didn't do his thing back in the day, he did. But he still has that that ghetto mentality. He never changed. You're talking about buying a nigga grills. What? If I was, if I had the money, I'd be like a pair of grills. I'd be like, bro, I ain't want no, I want no grills. I'm trying to figure out how we could get some land, purchase some property, and not even just in America. Let's buy land in other countries and build properties there. What? A pair of grills. Come on, man. You can't be serious, bro. Y'all can't be serious with these dudes, bro. I swear to y'all can't be serious. Following these dudes, bro. A bunch of broke rich niggas. That's all it is. A rich broke niggas. Either way. But I said, man, 12 o'clock show coming up, man. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I got two episodes that I did when I was out the country. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be placed in those up. So y'all see that. I also got some What's the Dirt. Uh, I got two, two What's the Dirt um, videos coming up. I got a five-part series on the Meet the, meet the uh, Family Matters. Meet the Gramps. Family Matters. So y'all going to look out for that too. You'll see them coming up. You know what I'm saying? So I got a, lot, a bunch of videos coming up, man. You're going to see a lot of videos being dropped. You know what I'm saying? But they, I'm still going to be doing the, 12, uh, the 8, 12, and 6. So... Be on the lookout. I got a lot of material coming. So, all right, man. You have a good morning. Go get yourself some good breakfast. And, um, yeah, man. See y'all later. Peace. Bye. <laughs>